watching Wake Up Nigeria, and it's uh, still have some interesting things coming up for you this so morning. So much is in store, but you know my tummy is rumbling now. Honestly, my tummy is rumbling. What I'm smelling in the in the kitchen is just strawberries. Oats, something that looks like toast, toast and oh, oats and everything. Me. Really nice. Wow, you don't want to miss that. MM and I will be bringing you some trending stories on social media in a little bit. And how to ensure your facial skin remains fresh, smooth, and silky like mine. We have a feature for you. Uh, you will learn how to do just that. Like yours, really? <laughs> <laughs> <Yours? Yeah. laughs> and BJ Sachs will be giving us a musical performance as well. Okay, so Yomi thinks I'm gonna let it go. That comment <laughs> no, about you have his to let skin. It go. I'm not letting it go. <laughs> what is his that? Skin. His skin, silky smooth, like My really. His skin is silky smooth. Under this beard, once it's shaved. <laughs> <laughs> wow. As in, seriously? Wow. I saw, I saw MM. I saw MM moving to BJ. Are there dance steps for pregnant women? I do. Oh, there should be. There should be. Yeah, yeah. there should be. Maybe we'll you do know, a, a segment for that specific. Yeah, you know, dance in a certain kind of way. You know, where you see, you've um, seen this, um, the, the senator. Um, oh. Abeliki. Yeah. Oh, oh dear me. His stomach is protruding, so that, that's quite large. So, <laughs> let, some of his steps. Mike went there. So he, he did. I remember, I remember he can you use some of his steps, by the way. Okay, you know, now, did you guys see that, um, the animation we showed about Sean yeah. Gunnar? Beautiful. That? You know, you know you I've been trying to reach out to that guy. Okay. That is intelligent. Mm. I mean, that coming from Africa, from Nigeria. Exactly. I was so impressed. I saw the animation and I'm like, Oh my gosh. You know what yeah. remember? I said thinking what? throwback, yeah. the animations we grew up loving. Uh, Voltron, Super Ted. Really? Uh, which ones can Rental Ghost. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, Rental Ghost wasn't actually. Yeah, it was not. Animation <laughs> animation yeah. Was you're you're, 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 you're yeah. basically oh. going to be like. I'm just tripping, as in. <laughs> as in, I, I thought we were the ones with that challenge. Super but Ted. Super, Super, did Super you Ted was from the 80s. I watched oh, come on, yeah. There was G Force, there was, of course, the original. Tom and Jerry. Okay, so if we're doing throwbacks this Thursday, I'm thinking about. The fact that you know the gaming world needs you know guys like this as well. Mm -hmm. We should have yeah. a, a computer game based on a character from Nigeria. Shango would wow. be great. Yes, yeah. actually, we work on that. actually, um, mm -hmm. while you're saying that, I just discovered there's a guy who's done who's just created a game. Okay. And guess what the name of the game is? What? Oh, what's it? Sambisa Escape. Whoa! Wow. Fantastic game. Wow. Great idea. And it's about. It's about little girls escaping from, from Sambisa. Sambisa oh. And you know, going through like this obstacle course. Oh my god. Seriously? And different things going on, and then you now get to safety. Amazing. Amazing. Are you checking that one yeah, out? Yeah, really, I would. Is, is, is it's it mobile? It's really mobile. good. It's on mobile. mobile. Okay. Wow. Sambisa really? Escape. Fantastic wow. game. Now that's something. Maybe I should find a way to check out that and maybe review on tech or something. That yeah. is quite I think we need cool. more people <laughs> to tap into, you know, the tech world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and explore some of all of these things because. You know, it and then explore our history because then it also resonates with children, with you know, I with, think that's with that's, everyone basically. That's a point, that's a point whereby mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of issues, you know, in schools, the curriculum and all of that. Let's yeah. make it interesting. History wasn't something that we wanted yeah. to yeah. listen yeah. to. I used to, I used but to then, hide my history books under my bed. Well, I <laughs> had, seriously, I used to well, hide I, them I so that I would just not read them. Period. I had a science background, but I had <laughs> friends in the art department of like history. No way. They just you know, yeah, it shouldn't be it. a science or art something. The yeah. history of yes, the country. Everyone everyone should should yes, everyone should know it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I feel a debate coming on, but no, we no, have the no news. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go to the news. Kemi is on standby, ready to break that to us right now. All right, guys. In the news this hour, the curfew imposed on Abba, the commercial hub of Abia State, has now been extended by a day to be lifted on Friday. Governor Okeze Kweazu says residents and visitors in the state need to cooperate with security agents to ensure a continued maintenance of the law and order within the city. But he says he isn't happy about reports that people were being compelled to raise their hands while passing through security checkpoints. So he asked security agents to ensure that such forms of what he called barbaric treatment be discontinued. In the meantime now, normalcy has returned to Abba Metropolis 
with uh, traders and artisans and every other person going back to their everyday businesses, touring parts of the city. Deputy Governor Ude Okochuku was joined by the commanding officer of the 82nd Division of the Nigerian Army, Major General Adamu Abubakar, and the Commissioner of Police, Leo Ibadi. The police boss later briefed newsmen on the uh, security situation in the state. Well, a police sergeant has been killed in clashes between suspected members of the indigenous people of Biafra and members of the Muslim community in River State. The reason for the attack on the Muslim faithful in Oyibo local government area of the state, it remains unclear, but eyewitnesses say the assailants made several attempts to burn the central mosque in the area. Well, now, the police commissioner in the state, Zaki Ahmed, said the dead officer was part of the team deployed to the area in the wake of the crisis, but he confirmed uh, that the attack also left scores injured. Some alarming statistics now from the Northeast, where 8.5 million people are desperately in need of humanitarian assistance in uh, the Northeast of Nigeria. Well, that's according to the UN Under Secretary General for Humanitarian Affairs and Emergency Relief Coordinator Mark Lowcock, who has been leading a delegation on a two day working visit to the zone. And he stated that the crisis in the Lake Chad Basin requires sustained international support. He noted that the UN has reached 2 million people with food assistance and provided thousands of children with life-saving nutritional support. Health sector now where it's beginning to look like the strike by resident doctors may last longer than expected. Well, that's because another meeting between the doctors and the government again ended without a resolution. The meeting lasted from dusk to dawn on Wednesday, even as talks are likely to continue. The doctors are demanding the payment of salary arrears and an improvement on their working conditions. The strike, which started uh, two weeks ago, has crippled activities at public hospitals across the country. That's news update. Let's bring you the latest on the weather forecast. still wake up Nigeria and Super Mike is on standby for yeah. sports. Yo, that's what's up. Yeah, Whew. really? Okay, all right, so the Champions League, of course. And with the day one of the UEFA Champions League kicking off with the bang and teams going go crazy, day two followed suit with some mouth-watering fixtures. Manchester City scoring with a reckless abandon at Fernoid. Real Madrid doing the needful against Apoel. Liverpool had some lessons learned on their return, okay? All right, let's take a look at this package. Certainly be cleared when it comes into the box. I think it's Lovren that misses it completely. Good combination play out on that left-hand side. There you see Lovren completely misses his kick. And Ben Yedda with an easy finish. He's got to defend it much better than that, Lovren. Matic. Nice touch by Salah. Wijnaldum. Firmino. Oh, sight of goal, maybe for Henderson, maybe for Moreno. Look at a number of uh, white shirts back, but Liverpool could still be in here, and they are. Roberto Firmino. Really good play from Liverpool. Here's the one to Henderson with the perfectly weighted return pass. He just gets it into the six yard box. Goalkeeper quite, can't quite get there. Firmino. Here come Liverpool on the drive again with Gomez, Salah. This one fairly by Benega and then by Salah. Oh, and the deflection gives Liverpool a somewhat lucky lead. Salah wheels away. 
And from 1-0 down, they're 2-1 up. To the delight of the majority here inside Anfield. Here's where he gives the ball away. When he plays it infield to Wijnaldum, they win back the ball to Villa. And this is where they think it's a foul. He's just got to be stronger than midfield player. And Kier, when he knew the ball was going out of play. One by Moreno. Mane. Penalty. Gets better for Liverpool. And Sevilla with Pereja. Watch the leap from Moreno here, winning the ball in the air. Brilliant from him. That's handball. And then there's a foul as well there. Yeah. Well, he scored one, and then a chance to make it a double, not spot on. Well, he knew he'd beaten the goalkeeper over that weekend. Here's uh, Muriel and Correa, 2-2. Two -two. And the penalty miss is in sharper relief now for Liverpool. And Jurgen Klopp has some serious thinking to do. Well, they had a player free on the right-hand side as well, but Correa, I think, has had a really good game. He's played more centrally in this second half. Muriel gets turned from the quick throw-in. He's a fortunate first touch, and it gets into his path here. I'm not sure the pass was meant for him, but he finishes it really well. Nothing that Carriers can do. He gets out quickly, gets it into his path, adjusts his feet and then keeps his composure to play it round Carrius. Good finish from Correa. All right, after missing out on reaching Europe's elite club competition, the UEFA Champions League last season, Arsenal begin life in the Europa League by facing German side FC Cologne at the Emirates uh, Stadium today. Thursday night football, Arsene Wenger will rest the host of first-team players against the Germans. Arsenal boss has admitted he does not view the Europa League as an avenue to qualify for the Champions League. Italian giants AC Milan return to play Europa League football away against Austria Wien. It's a debut of sorts for the Rossoneri after four years of absence in Europe. The match provides Milan an opportunity to bounce back from Sunday's 4-1 defeat by Lazio in the Italian Serie A. German side Hoffenheim will also make their Europa League debut as they host Sporting Braga. In other matches, Villarreal are home to FC Astana and Everton travel to Italy to play Atlanta. Hertha Berlin play host to Athletic Bilbao and Vitez are up against Lazio in Holland and Real Sociedad are home to Rosenborg. Okay, all right, um, but then Arsenal are going to be playing Thursday night football for the first time in about 16 years. It's been quite a while. They are yeah. constant in the Champions League, but then I said Wenger, it seems it's not going uh, well for him. It's not going well for him. And already the big man has said when he buys the club. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's the first thing that's going to happen. Yes, exactly. You know, that's the point because I'm thinking now, if he does buy, he has already made that claim. But don't you think that that might actually limit he, or might, might not make people want to, or the other shareholders sell oh, to well, him? Uh, let's see. Let's well, see how it goes. <laughs> yeah, let's see how he goes. He has to make an offer that they cannot refuse. Everyone has a price. Yeah, sure like. he, he does. He really does <laughs> yeah. have to. Okay, all right. That's Thanks it. So much, yeah. All right. <laughs> Straight to the newspaper headlines, starting off with the Daily Sun. Ex-Jamb Nimasa heads to face probe over shoddy handling of resources. You can read a bit more about that on page 11. Police behind kidnappings, robberies in rivers, says Wiki. Uh, we also have uh, an interesting one here. Lagos State bans interstate buses and others from Ikorodu Road. Hmm. That's uh, some good news for uh, commuters, I think, hmm. but uh, not so good for some of the <laughs> interstate <laughs> transporters. Yeah. What do we have on the nation? All right, and then on the cover of the nation, we have a policeman dies, vehicles damaged as IPOB strikes, scores held over pro Biafra agitators action in Port Harcourt. And then... Uh, CBN sees further growth in economy and still on the cover of the nation. Um, oil, bank, electricity workers threaten strike. And then finally, um, Federal Executive Council orders probe of past jam Mimasa chiefs. On the punch this morning, Kanu backs out of talks with Southeast governors, policeman killed. IPOB to review decision not to take arms police arrest 32 suspects after clashes in rivers. 
And uh, there's something here about NNPC. NNPC to shut down refineries for maintenance. That's on page 28. Some very important information there. And uh, alarming as it may sound, it says here, we sell human hands for 5,000 Naira each, say cult members. You can read up a bit more about that on pages 4 and 5 of The Punch. Hmm. And then on the cover of uh, this day, we have Northern Governors embark on town hall meetings on restructuring. And then also APC, PDP, ACF, others call for calm, restraint in the southeast. Uh, also another blow to patients, health workers to embark on, sept on strike on September 20th. And uh, finally, on the cover of this day, NNPC to shut down refineries for rehabilitation inaugurates committees. On the cover of the Vanguard, Operation Python Dance 2, Abia government extends curfew, meets monarchs and others. Arawa consultative forum calls for caution. IPOB meets to re-strategize. You can read up uh, a bit more about that in the Vanguard newspaper. Northern governors plan public hearing on restructuring. You can read up about that on page eight. And regarding the strike or impending strike, labor urges Nigerians to stockpile basic needs as power, fuel supplies, and others will be affected. Hmm. And then finally, on the, on the Nigerian Tribune, the, on the cover, we have more knocks over IPOB soldiers clash, and uh, NEMA raises alert on flooding in Kebi, Kogi, Anambra, Rivers, and four others. And then finally, restructuring Northern Governor's traditional rulers to hold public hearing. That's on the cover of the Nigerian Tribune. And that's it on the newspaper headlines for this morning. And they're proudly supported by Dettol. Be 100% sure. We'll be right back with some trending stories after this short break. <laughs> And we're back. MM joins me right here on the couch. Hi, today. Titi. How are you doing? I'm good. All right. So this <laughs> seems to be news making well, rounds on social media. And um, a few of them are pretty, well, anyways, <laughs> I'll just you. And then we can talk about it. We okay. could gossip about it. All right. All I right. mean, that's what we're good at, right? <laughs> Music artist Mr. Easy recently came under fire on social media after his video where he claimed that Nigerian musician used Ghana sound for quick hits. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He said that? That's the <gasps> second time this year. That guy needs serious lashing. Oh, Seriously. No. Yeah. I know Nigerians will not let him be. <laughs> as in, really. You need to hear some of the funny tweets, because Nigerians back, I mean, he got like some serious backlash <laughs> on Twitter, you know. And um, at Billion Tweets said, Who's more relevant to the Nigerian music industry at the moment? Retweet for goats, like for Mr. Easy. Ouch. And how many retweets and how many likes did, <laughs> did we get? I the goats got that. about 1,500. <gasps> oh my goodness. So retweets, you can imagine. And then we have at Geo Baba said, I use God's name to beg you. Don't ever make such a comparison again. Puff Puff and Mr. Easy. Wow. Puff Puff serves saved my life don't ever make such a comparison again puff puff and mr easy wow. puff puff serves saved my life in secondary school can you imagine as it really they're you know, comparing him to the puff last puff thing anyone <laughs> would do is go after a niger go after nigerians mm. they'll come after you there's always been this whole nigerian Ghanaian thing though you know first yeah, it was the I whole jollof right. rice thing and now like really music <laughs> i don't think we should go there but in the end you know what they say about publicity. Mr. Easy is in the news again. Well, so, yeah. I, I will agree with you, though, yeah. because this artist seems to come up with different ways to of pulling publicity stunts. Create for, controversy. Yeah, yeah. Co yeah, so I agree with you. <laughs> and um, this final tweet, I don't know Mr. Easy was a musician until yesterday. I hear he looks like, he looks up to Harry's song. Ouch. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, I think Nigerians need to chill. Nigerians, yeah, they, yeah, they gotta chill. I mean, they, they really have to chill. All right, so the New York Fashion Week 
rounded off in full gear yesterday with fashion designers showcasing their latest collections. And what got our attention was Tayana Taylor. I mean, she made her devil in Kanye West fade video. I don't know if we all remember. Yes. The musician, actress, and model's walk on the runway was one of the highlights of the event. I mean, after closing the GS, GCDS show, she was, I mean, she was She's fierce. fierce. She was She's her, just her fierce. walk on that road, she took it like a queen, like a Honestly. drama queen. You know, all that paparazzi. She looked like a panther, really, taking yeah. that catwalk. You know, with some stunner shades and white boots, she hit the New York Fashion Week again. Again, ditching a regular catwalk and dancing down the runway, like in lingerie. Yeah. The lady can show make an appearance. She can. Honestly, can she? but you know, I think she has some great PR though. You know, she has some great people putting her in the right place at the right time because it's not every time you find a video vixen, so to speak, you know, showing up on runways and doing all these great things she's been doing over the past few months. Well, that mm. lady has got sass. If you're looking for sass, go and learn from a Tayana Taylor. <laughs> All right, moving on. The economic recession seems to be biting hard as there's a trend of people sending messages via DMs requesting for financial assistance from random people. All right, so this particular, there's a Twitter battle between this user and another user at King Lola. She called out another user at Badman Source who sent her a DM asking for money. Yeah. And when she told him she had nothing to say to him, he asked that if she can't help, she should not rub, he, she should not rub it in, in his face. face. Mm. And then Twitter users came at both of them. They expressed their different opinions on the matter. Yeah. And when Lola shared, she also shared screenshots of their conversation. Some yeah. supported her for calling out the, calling out the guy, as in yeah. claimed, to, they said he was a scammer. And then others called her out for embarrassing the user by sharing their, you know, screenshots of the conversation. Okay, so I have others to blamed both there. of them for, blamed the guy for asking for money, Firstly. you know. And then the guy, after, because of all of the backlash, he got ashamed. And then he said that he was hacked. He okay. sent a message to Lula saying he was hacked. Yeah. And then later the whole, I mean, every, it was, there was so much heat. Okay, so you know there are a lot of these, uh, in, in, in a sense, trolls. Yeah. Okay, so I get them a lot as well. Oh, I get you on do? an average okay. in a week, probably three, four people asking me for money oh. on Twitter, on Instagram. It it's happens all the time. And the truth is, sometimes there is that pressure. But being a public figure, you know, you don't just call out people. Well, she's not exactly that. a public figure. Lala okay. is not. A, she was just a random person. And, you know, it was just a first time conversation between no, the both of them. No, I'm saying myself. I, oh, can't, okay. I can't call them out. Oh, you okay. know, but I'm of thinking course, because I, if I had seen it, I would have probably, you know, like said, you go girl. Because uh, it's a lot of pressure. And, yeah, uh, but then there are also people, people who are also demanding, they need assistance. Yeah. So um, I don't think the best way is to rub it in their faces and say, oh, because you're asking me for money, I don't know you. Okay. I mean, just try to, if you can't help, say you can't help, okay. you know? Well, and well, the guy felt ashamed of, he felt so ashamed of the whole drama. And then, you know, he apologized yeah. and it was, it was pretty sad. I mean, it was just, yeah. I will, I'm, I'm not, I'm, I would I'm not one that I'm always it, really careful because you never know the sort of depression someone is in. in exactly. And you just never know. He could just go do something drastic to himself. Yeah, because, because of, of that. Response. Yeah, because so there's this. I'm just really delicate. You but know, it, it's a shame, but it's, it is trending out there. And uh, people need to really be careful. Yeah. All right. Though it's not very, very popular here in Nigeria, removing the gator through <laughs> during a wedding reception. <laughs> but recently, this groom, I mean, basically the groom, it, the gator is an yeah. equivalent of um, the bride's bouquet throw. For okay. the, you know, the when... The gutter toss. The gutter yeah, the gutter toss, toss yeah, yeah, where the, mm. where, you know... It's like the bride throwing the flowers and whoever catches it gets married next. So it's the gut, it, the, the groom's equivalent of that is when he takes off the garter from the bride. So there was this video that trended online where the groom took that off. Yeah. And then her uncle, the bride's uncle, yeah. came, at her, came at him. Yeah. And then um, friends <laughs> and family members had to, you know, push him back, like had to hold him back, like... What was oh, going that, on there? Like, it what was so it was so dramatic. It was funny. 
that video trended over the weekend okay, so was even this, still now was this really just fun and games or was it really was the guy really serious about getting that gata i don't know i'm just no but it's just it's just part of the it's just yeah. part of the fun for wedding for I wedding know. receptions basically i mean we have people doing the beyonce dance yeah and we have you know we've seen all sorts of videos and it's just <laughs> part of the fun for the you know for the for the reception or for the mm. for the couple so i think it's i think he went too far i think the uncle went too far <laughs> i think that reaction was too quick like yeah no don't do that hello mister that man has already paid for her bright yeah. price well like, and married her it's put official the ring on it. yeah, yeah so exactly. i mean that was too extreme but well i don't know people might have different opinions about it i'm though. gonna reserve my own comments as well <laughs> that's like hashtag crazy uncle oh, uh, no. <laughs> we should we should continue this conversation online tweet to us yeah. at tvc connect and uh, make sure you use that hashtag wake up Nigeria. Nigeria. Yes. All right. So that's all for today on Trending Stories. BJ Sachs is ready to thrill us with his voice and he's standing by with Mike. Stay with us. Okay. Just before he thrills us with his voice, um, he will thrill us in another way with his voice. Right? Okay, great to have you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure being around. Man, who designed this for you? Uh, <laughs> who designed this for you? It's made by the Divine Endowments. Wow. Okay. All right. Um, so I've got BJ Sachs here with me. Now, his name is actually Bolaji Banjuku. He's one of Nigeria's fastest growing saxophonist and entertainer who thrills with a blend of traditional percussions and the sonorous tone of his saxophone to make contemporary vibes. He hosted his first concert just this past May. Now that was quite a big one, you know, having a saxophonist headlining a concert. Uh, that's, that's, a, uh, that's the first of its kind in that kind of way. Yeah, we, we, How's we, he putting it all together? It wasn't easy at all. We tried to, to, to do something new, you know, okay. something that has not been, of course, you want a very good result. You have to try something that has never been done before. Sure. And of course, you have to use the best of the best, the top, the adverts, the everything we had to just go all out mm. you know, to get what we wanted to do so it wasn't easy at all people were like ah, ah saxophonist yeah and then, exactly you know, would it be interesting would it be interesting that? but it was people 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 can't wait for the next one wow really. break it down for us how did it go what happened now what was the menu like, I, I got i got the idea in january okay and um i wasn't so sure because it was going to cost so much and then it was our first we had to look for sponsors we had to wow. you know get people to to, to, to follow the vision, you know, let mm. them understand, oh yeah, we can, you can come around and enjoy good, nice jazz music, oh, okay. you know, and still get value for, you know, good entertainment, oh, okay. you understand? So it, was, it wasn't easy trying to get people to support, so we had to use our personal funds. You know, to, 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 it was, it was, you know, to get a code, the venue, the, the hotel, venue, yes, first of all, to yes, get the, the, the adverts, to get the people. And, you know, psychologically, you have to be careful too, you know, you don't yeah. want to spend all that and then and people then don't show up. Don't show up, exactly. You know? And then it kind of, we, we, were, we, were we were trying to get quality people, okay. MDs of banks, um, you know. Guys, you know now. He knows how to do you this know, so thing. We were trying to do all those things, <laughs> get captains of industries together, together you yeah. know. To, to because actually they're the ones that enjoy that kind, that of, kind music. of music you understand? but they don't the go out they don't go out all the time you know it's yeah, just we true. the young people we go for comedy shows and we concerts, go for yeah. music concerts you know but for jazz you know, we have to you know go all out and send advice to people we have to talk to people personally you know to yeah, support to and all that but it wasn't easy but it was worth it in the it end. Was it was and worth it. Apart from the jazz artists and all of that what else was there any other you know kind of performance um, apart from pure well, jazz? Well for me too it was another thing I wanted to test my I won't say fan base okay you understand so I didn't really your put strength in the yeah. industry and all so of that I didn't Flex really put any uh, um, top headliner headliner in, okay in my so I, I of course I have friends that are that were on the same level so right. we just try to help each other to grow up so to I put everybody, everybody together so okay let's do this we can do this together I don't want social media by someone who tell me um, I'm coming and then I put you your face on the advert and then you're not Anyway right. to be found okay, now let's talk about the um, evolution of jazz music and all of that. I know um, at a point in time, far back then, you know, you see saxophonists as backup, mm. but now you are now becoming the front act, and then other people even back you up and all of that. Through the years, all while you've been doing music, how long have you been doing music, by the way? About uh, 15 years. 15 now. years. Now, yeah. through, so that means that you are in a very right position to talk about the evolution. How has the industry evolved for you guys who do jazz music? Mm, one of, one of, 
jazz is, for me, definition of jazz is every use of instruments. So jazz can be with the saxophone, it can be with the guitar, it can be with the, but it's every use of instrument to show dexterity. Can you, but you major in the saxophone? But I major in the saxophone. Is there any other one you play? So I play every other instrument. I play wow. the trumpet, I play the drums, I play everything. Wow, you do? Really. And that's great something. You understand? So, now, one, one of the things we, we, we get wrong as jazz artists is to play music that people can't really understand. Mm. There's a way you can play jazz that everybody would understand, everybody would love. Okay. People will be able to listen to your music, would appreciate your music. Okay. So, so that's what I try to do differently. I try to play jazz in a way that everybody would love it. Mm. Even the, the, the person walking on the street would be able to relate to jazz. So it doesn't have to be just a selected few. That's where your percussion and all of that and come all those things in come and all of that. African style. You know, African style, play popular tunes, you jazzify popular tunes. Okay, yeah. you do covers of popular yeah, tunes and yeah, all of that. Yeah, we do this, you, you know, so people can still relate to the music while they enjoy Wonderful. the jazz feel of it. Wonderful, I'm yeah. looking forward to that. I yeah. want to see that. Yeah. Thank you, you very much. Good. It was good having yeah. you. But then, of course, uh, BJ Sachs will steal three loss to a performance uh, later on. Let's go. This commercial break, we will be right back to give you some beauty tips.